Inspiring Home Cook. Today's video is going to be a little different than my usual videos. I've got a couple of errands to run today and I've got a heap of other work to do as well. So I thought I'd share with you what I eat on a typical busy day when I haven't got much time to dedicate towards cooking. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and once you do, click on that little bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Most mornings start off with some warm water. Some days it's lemon water, some days it's ginger, some days it's a combination. Today I'm having some lemon water, so into a mug. I've squeezed a little bit of lemon juice. You don't need very much. And I'm going to top that off with some hot water. I give this a little stir. I spend a little time sitting and planning my day out while I sip on this cup of water. It's a nice mindful way to get the day started. A little later in the morning, I move on to breakfast. Now, during the winter months, breakfast is usually a nice warm bowl of oatmeal porridge. This is a quick, hearty, wholesome and delicious breakfast option. I use old-fashioned rolled oats. I season the oats and then bring it to a boil using a combination of water and milk. I like my oats nice and thick and creamy and I find that a combination gives me the best results. Now, if you haven't tried hot oatmeal porridge or if you'd like to see how I make my oatmeal porridge, I've recently recorded a video on five different oatmeal recipes that are all based on this basic way of cooking oats. I'll leave a link to that video right here so that you can go check that out as well. And I usually have my porridge with a mug of coffee and that's morning breakfast taken care of. Around mid-morning, I like to take a little break from work and have a little snack at this time. Usually it's whatever fruit is in season. Here I've got some strawberries and some blueberries and a small assortment of nuts. This combination of fruits and nuts is extremely healthy and keeps you going till lunchtime. Lunch today is going to be a quick Mediterranean style bowl and I'm going to start off by rinsing and soaking my rice. While the rice is soaking, I've got my oven preheated at 200 degrees C. I'm going to roast a few vegetables. I'm starting off by chopping up some eggplant into little cubes like so and then I'm going to pop them all into a large mixing bowl. I'm going to drizzle over some olive oil and season with a little salt to taste. And I'm going to toss that all around well. I've got my baking tray lined with my silicone mat and I'm going to place the cubed eggplant onto the tray with any smaller pieces towards the center. And I'm going to pop that into my hot oven for about 15 minutes tossing once midway or till the eggplant has cooked through. Now depending on the size of the pieces of eggplant you might need to roast them off for a little longer. Now while my eggplant is roasting away I've got my rice boiling on the stove top and I'm going to put together a quick little salad. You can use an assortment of salad greens that you'd like and for me that's usually lettuce of some sort or salad greens, some cucumber, some tomato, a very tiny bit of onion and today since we're going Mediterranean style I've got some olives that I've sliced up as well. To keep things easy and simple I'm just going to season everything in the bowl itself and not making a dressing separately. I've added a little bit of salt and some freshly cracked black pepper to taste. I'm going to squeeze over some lemon juice to taste. And I'm going to sprinkle over a few oregano leaves. I'm using dried oregano leaves. You could use a few fresh leaves if you've got those as well. And a light drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Give everything a good toss and your salad is ready. Now if you had some feta on hand, that would go brilliantly in a salad like this as well. I didn't have any today so I'm just going to make do with my salad greens. And today I'm going to top my bowl off with one fried egg. With all our components ready, we are now ready to assemble the bowl. I start off with a little rice at the bottom of the bowl. Now, if you're not a fan of rice or you'd like to keep it light, you can omit, omit the rice or you can use quinoa or couscous instead. Today, I'm just going with the rice. And I'm going to add some of that beautifully roasted eggplant to the bowl. Next, I'm going to pop in some salad. And today, because I have them in the fridge, I'm just going to add a couple of 
stuffed peppers to the bowl. Top it all off with the fried egg. And I'm finishing off this bowl with some homemade roasted red pepper hummus. I will have that recipe up on the channel very soon. This hummus was so delicious and it tied everything together beautifully. And that was a quick, easy, warm lunch bowl ready for me with no fuss at all. Now some days after lunch, I have the urge for something sweet. And today I'm going to snack on one of these chocolate coated pineapple rings. I picked this up recently at Costco and they are absolutely divine. Now around four o'clock ish, I like to have a cup of tea. Off late, I've really been enjoying these fruit infused teas. I've got a couple that I absolutely adore and today it's going to be this forest fruits infused tea. Now dinner is going to be a simple stir-fried noodles. I will share a detailed recipe for this on the channel very soon. So stay tuned and watch out for that. Today I'm just going to briefly run you through how I make my stir-fried noodles. So I start off by chopping uh, some red chilies. I'm using a bird's eye chili. You can choose to leave it out or use a milder chili if you'd like. And I've sliced some onions. I'm also going to separate those little onion slices so that they get distributed well in the pan. And I'm going to chop up some carrot. I'm going to prep some spring onions, both the white and the green parts. Next, I'm chopping up some capsicum or green bell pepper. You can use red or yellow if you've got that on hand and you prefer those as well. I almost always have some green pepper on hand, so that's what I'm using here today as well. I'm going to slice off a few mushrooms, about four to five should do. I'm going to mince up some ginger and some garlic. Now with the chopping done, I'm going to prep my noodles. Today I'm going to use a pack of these Singapore noodles. You'll typically find this in the Asian food section. Sometimes some varieties can also be placed in the refrigerator or the freezer section of your grocery store. So I'm going to go ahead and prep these as per the instructions on the packet. I'm just going to put these packets of noodles into a bowl and top them up with some boiling water and let them stand till they've softened and loosened up a bit. With the noodles done, I'm moving on to the sauce. I like to have the sauce ready to go so that when the pan is ready, all I have to do is take this one little bowl and pop it into the pan. I've got about one to one and a half tablespoon of soy sauce here. I'm also going to use a little bit of hot chili sauce. Now the bottle says that it's a hot chili sauce, but it's, we find it quite mild. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of that sauce as well. A little bit of rice wine vinegar. I'm going to add about a teaspoon or thereabouts. And lastly, I'm going to add some sweet chili sauce. Now, if you don't have sweet chili sauce, you can add a little bit of sugar or even honey works well. So I'm going to add one to two tablespoons of this sweet chili sauce. Give it a good stir and set this aside. Now the beauty of this sauce is that you can tweak it to suit your likings. Taste a little bit of it and if you feel that you need a little more sourness or a little more sweetness or whatever the case might be, you can adjust those quantities. We can now start cooking off our stir-fried noodles. Into a hot pan, I'm going to add some peanut oil. I like to start off with the eggs first. So I'm going to crack in a couple of eggs and quickly and very lightly scramble them. As the eggs are cooking, I like to toss them up and break them up into little pieces that I can then add to the noodles at a later time. I'm going to set this aside in a little bowl and add them to the dish later on. Add in another tiny splash of that peanut oil to the pan and we can now start stir frying our vegetables. Make sure that the pan is nice and hot at this stage. Into the pan, I'm going to add the mushrooms first. I find that they take the longest to cook. Give it a stir and cook them off till they've browned off a bit. When the mushrooms are nice and brown and meaty, add in your ginger and garlic and give it all a good mix. Next, I'm going to add in the chili and stir that through as well. At this point, the aromas coming from that pan will be absolutely divine. I'm going to now start adding the rest of the vegetables. First, I'm going to put in the onions, stir that through. And like you can see here, because we separated those onion rings, they actually distribute in the pan much better. If not, I find that they stick together and you get a large clump of onion and I personally don't like that. I'm going to now add the bell peppers. 
and stir that through as well. At this point, you want the onions and the bell peppers to fry off just a tiny bit and get a little bit of char on them. Next in are the spring onions. You can reserve some of the greens if you'd like to garnish your noodles with it before serving. I've just put them all into the pan, stir that all through and I'm now adding the carrots. I find that the carrots that we get here cook off really fast and personally I don't like the carrots mushy. That's the reason I put them in at the end. You're now going to let this stir fry on a high heat till the vegetables are done to your liking. I like my vegetables with a little bit of crunch so I'm not going to cook it for very long. When the vegetables are almost done I'm going to add in about a teaspoon or so of sesame oil. Now this sesame oil is crucial for that beautiful Chinese takeout kind of flavor and aroma. So if you can get your hands on some, please do. I always have some of this sesame oil in my pantry. You can now add in the sauce. And you're going to have to move fairly quickly from here on now because you don't want that sauce to burn. Give everything a good stir. And you can see that the sauce has almost immediately started bubbling and simmering. I'm now going to add the drained noodles and give it one good stir. At this point, almost all of the cooking is done. You just want that sauce to coat the noodles really well. So take a little time, be gentle with it, but make sure that the noodles have a nice coating of sauce on it. I'm going to add the eggs back into the pan and stir that through as well. After adding the noodles, I usually cook it off for about another minute just to let everything heat through and your stir-fried noodles are ready. You are now ready to serve. And for a final flourish, I'm going to sprinkle some finely sliced red chilies on the top. If you don't want the added heat, you can leave this out completely. I'm going to sprinkle on some sesame seeds. And lastly, I'm going to finish it off with some crispy onions. I've only stumbled on these crispy onions recently, a few months ago, and I think they add a nice touch to dishes like this. And that's dinner for me today. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's recipes and today's video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, leave me a comment and let me know. And thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to see you really soon with another delicious recipe. So till then, take care. Bye.